Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're talking all about new luxury beauty from Christian Dior. We're doing a will I buy it, but with a special brand focus. So here on my channel, we like to add a little French twist. So for collections, we do want, we say we, oui, and for collections, we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Thank you for joining me today. We will be talking about all of these new beauty collections, launches from Dior because they have a lot. I mean, they've been notorious for reformulating a lot, but here we have some reformulations, but a lot of just brand new, pure new goodies. The first uh, item here is actually a reformulation. This is the Rouge Dior, the Couture Color Lipstick, and it comes in velvet and satin finish. Uh, those are the finishes, and it's supposed to be hydrating with floral lip care. The floral lip care is not new, but like I stated, this brand has just been on a sort of fetish of reformulating everything, and so they've just done... I don't remember when they reformulated these ones specifically. I know they reformulated some of their other formulas like other lip shapes here i'm wearing this one here i think this is the ultra long wear matte but this is this one here is more just like the classic bullet and there are 68 shades available so really any flavor you want any swatch any shade you want you have the option currently i am only seeing satin or velvet so satin is going to be just more the classic lipstick finish and the velvet is going to be more matte uh, are these refillable? Let me just do a little search here. Hmm. I, I believe these are refillable because they're big on the refill kick as well. But one thing that's annoying is, okay, like it's one thing for them to reformulate something and say, okay, now this is refillable. And so you don't have to waste as much. You don't have to spend as much. But if they're going to reformulate, with a different refill shape every two years. That's not exactly better, is it? So there is that to note here. Listen, this looks beautiful. The close up here of the, this is the matte and this is the, the classic 999 shade. That's like the classic color for the brand. It looks beautiful. I love the zoomed in texture of the lipstick. I'm sure that these are very pretty. Ah, uh, I mean, I'm sure I'll buy one of these eventually. I'm just not sure if I'll get one right away. I don't really, I don't need lipstick. It's really just a want at this point. You tell me what you think of this and if you prefer the satin or the velvet finish. The shades are beautiful. I mean, lipstick is one of those things that's very easy to buy because you just swatch it and you see the color and it's always so pretty. But I think this is a wee. I'm just not rushing to buy it right away. And let's move on. That's a wee. Yeah, it's a wee for me, just not immediately. Sticking on the topic of lips, we have also the new Rouge Dior Contour. This is a no transfer lip pencil, lip liner, lip pencil, and this is one that you sharpen. It, I like that it always has a little brush at the end, so you can use that either to fill in your lip or if you leave the brush clean, you can use it to clean the contours of your lip if you need to. There aren't that many colors. There's 12 colors. I mean, they have 68 shades, so you don't need 68 lip liners to match each and every one here. These have existed. This is just a reformulation. I'm not really sure what's different here. This is supposed to be resistant, smudge proof, stop fading, all that jazz. I mean, when you use a lip liner, you can make your lipstick last like 10 hours. What you do is you take your lip liner, you do the contour and then you fill in completely with a lip liner. Then you put your lipstick on top. It's gonna stay absolutely all day. So these lip liners are all matte. I kind of wish there was a few more colors. Maybe they'll add more colors in the meantime, you know, as the seasons go on. It's just that, well, there's like some reds, there's some nudes, there's some deep colors, but sometimes you want to get that exact perfect match. If you're very extra, if you're very extra like me, which I am. So this again is a wee for me. I think that the, these look nice. I haven't tried these, so I don't know how they would compare to like their older formula. Here I have the older formula from like a couple years ago. That's just what it looks like here. 
I should sharpen that. And then this is the lip pencil, not the pencil, but the little corrector side. So I don't know how they compare. I would imagine, I would expect. I expect these to be more creamy, more buttery, and even more long wearing. You know, it's a lip liner. It's supposed to, everything is supposed to improve with reformulations, which isn't always the case, which is very rude, but I'm gonna go with we skeptically. Moving on to eyeshadows. We have a ton of eyeshadows from the brand. So the first two here are brand new, and I believe these are spring releases. They're limited edition. The first one here, 123 Pink Organza. Now, this looks pretty in the promo photo. Who knows what it's going to look like in person. It's always, you know, a pinch of salt or a grain of salt, whatever. Uh, in the photo here, I love that top mauve, to taupe, gray shade. I love a cool color. I like the balance of the pink and some coolness to it. I think that it looks really pretty, but I suspect that bottom color is going to be a little bit too orange for my taste. Unclear. I would have to swatch this in person or see some photos of an actual human <laughs> swatching it to no for sure but i think that this looks i think it looks nice and there's another one uh with this collection here this one is called 923 poplin peach so this one is warmer warmer more peachy more pink these look soft and subtle like both of the palettes look soft they look fresh and pink but to me from for my taste this is too peachy too pink it's not exactly my cup of tea but a lot of people like these warm peachy pink shadows. They're really not for me. Every now and then it's fine, but I just, I've seen it too much. So I think that one's, this one for me is a big non merci. If I were to get one of these two, I would get the first one that we just uh, showed a second ago. Now, moving on to an item that I believe is permanent. And this is the one that's pulling on my, my heartstrings and my wallet strings a little bit more. This is the 813 Mimi Rose. At first I thought it was Mini Rose, but no, it's Mimi, Mimi Rose. Cute. I love this in the promo photo. Ooh, let's cross our fingers that it's as beautiful in person because when I see this, I'm drawn to that blue. I'm drawn to that cool tone, that cool color. I really hope that the brown isn't too warm. I hope it's more neutral, but I sus I don't know if it's contrasted against the blue that makes it look warm, but I hope it's not too warm. I think this could be very promising. I love that it's permanent. Something about limited edition kind of, I find annoying because so much is limited edition that it's no longer special. You know, like limited edition is supposed to mean special, but because everything is limited edition, nothing is you know what i mean so the fact that this is permanent to me is more enticing i hope that the two opposite colors the lighter ones i hope that they're beautiful i hope they're champagne i hope they're ethereal i hope that they have a nice texture not topper shades but just like buttery satin that you could almost wear as like a one single shadow beautiful i i imagine that the center shade is satin but softer usually you can sort of tell from the texture that this the center shade is going to be luminous but not as um luminous as the other colors if i get an eyeshadow that i've mentioned so far this is the one i think this one is the wheat for me i see myself and my taste represented in this palette here so if I get anything so far, it's this one here, exactly. Moving on to a backstage item. So Dior has a backstage collection and backstage is powders, blushes, eyeshadows. They have like a lot of stuff. In general, when you see backstage added to Dior, the price point is much more affordable. Everything backstage is at a lower price point. The packaging is different. This case is plastic. There's no metal. There's no mirror, there's no little sponge dip applicators. It's really just a question of your taste. I've tried a lot of backstage makeup. It's really good. It's the same quality. It's just a little bit of a different price point, a little bit of a different marketing strategy. That's literally it. I have tried some of the backstage eyeshadow palettes and they're great. They're wonderful. One thing I'm really happy about is 
when they came out with the backstage eyeshadows, initially there was always a primer eyeshadow in the mix that didn't work, it was terrible. I'm very happy to see they removed it from this here. So this one here is called 002 Smoky Essentials. Now, if we look at the arm swatches that are provided from the website, I don't know, this is called Smoky Essentials. I'm seeing a lot of like pink and mauve. There's like three shades. There's like that one really dark matte plum. And then there's at least two other colors that I see that give me a pinky mauve. And I don't know why that's there exactly. I guess it can be nice to throw it in the mix. I just find it interesting that it's mixed in with something called the Smoky Essentials. I guess it's good that it's not just nine colors of black and gray, you know, it makes it a bit more user friendly. To me, this looks like it might be user friendly because we do have lightness in here. There are some light shades. I don't think there's very much matte going on. There's the mattes appear to be in the much deeper colors. I kind of wish some of the lighter shades had some mattes as well, but it looks like a nice balance of matte and satin. I think this is interesting. I think it's pretty. I think this is nice. I might get it. I'm going to have to swatch this in person. You know, in principle, it's a we, but in practicality, in reality, it's a peut-être, it's a maybe. I'll have to swatch it in person and see what it looks like on my actual skin tone. Moving on to some blush, we have a limited edition of blush here. Of course, it has to be limited edition. This is the Couture Blush Longwear Infused with Floral Skin Care. This is number 225 Delicate Rose. So this has to be with some sort of spring collection as well. The Delicate Rose looks like a beautiful soft peach. It looks warm, not too warm. It's not orange. It almost looks like a neutral warm peach. I think this looks really lovely. Obviously the model looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous on her. I would imagine that this is very pretty. I would imagine this is going to be not universal, but very easy to use for a lot of people. I don't know how opaque it is. I don't know how intense it is, but it also looks like it's buildable, it's soft. I'm trying to see if this is matte or satin. Unclear about that, but it looks luminous. I'm wearing a Dior blush today. I'm wearing the shade Charnel. This actually looks, in my opinion, I don't have them side by side, but I imagine that this is going to be similar to what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a highlighter over top, but this one here looks luminous. It looks like it's that you, you but better in a healthy, peachy, beautiful way. This looks nice, even though it's limited edition and a bit annoying. Uh, moving on, we have a new shade here. This is Permanent. This is just part of the Permanent collection of blushes. This is the shade 280 Rose Poplin. This looks so pink, but also very pale, very fair. I, I think on me, I suspect it would be way too fair. If you have much more fair skin tone than me, which you probably do, well, I don't know. I don't know you, but I'm just saying you might if you have more fair skin tone. This looks pretty. I mean, I don't know. It looks very pink. It looks a little bit bubblegum, but very, very fair, very light. I think it looks nice for spring, but for me, that's a no merci. Moving on to nails. We have three here in this beautiful springtime collection here. And the first one is limited edition. This is more of a top coat. This one here is called 001 Sequins. It's giving me disco springtime realness. I think it looks very pretty, but I would wear that on top of a, an opaque color. I like white manicures, but I don't like when it's just a pearlescent translucent shift on me. I like a bit more color, so I would wear this as a top coat on top of something else. And here are the two other colors in this release here. We have a 595 Lilac Organza. That looks so pretty. Doesn't it look so beautiful? It looks like it's not you but better, but it's like a neutral. It's like a neutral nude with color in it. You know what I mean? Like that sort of neutral everyday color. Very, very pretty. It looks classic. It just looks very, very chic. But then we have a little bit more punch here with this 555 Poplin. And this one has a little bit of a shift to it. If you look real close and squint, 
there's a little bit of a shift. I think it's warm, unsure. I think it's warm, just a little bit. It looks peachy pink, very pretty. For a lot of people, this is like their go-to color. It looks very, very nice. I think this is a really cute nail polish collection. For me, the Lilac Organza is the one that's calling my name. And I think I would put the uh, sequins top coat on top of that for me personally. So I think that's like a petite. Realistically, I'm gonna have to see these in person. Like I like to take a scotch tape at the counter and put the nail polish on the scotch tape. That way you can sort of see how it looks on your flesh. That's my pro tip to you. So I'll see these in person before I buy them. Moving on to the maximizers category. So I love the lip maximizers. I've purchased some fun colors. I got this icy blue color. It actually works. It, it almost looks like a milky, well, not like purple, not mauve, but like it looks, it actually looks nice. Like at first you're like, what? That looks insane. No, it's actually pretty. I like it. it. It's grown on me. I wasn't sure at first, but it's really pretty. Anyway, we have some new colors here that they added. The first one here, 056 Frosted Pink. Looks a little bit more passepartout, a little bit more universal, but it's frosty, a little milky, a little pink, very pretty. Kind of just looks like your lip, but better, but with a glossy, plumping, minty, tingling effect. And then they also added this shade here called 203 Hollow Yuzu. That looks so fun. Like that made me think of this, where it's just this color where you're like, excuse me, for lips, are you wild? No, but like that hollow yuzu. Like yuzu is a citrus fruit, right? So the hollow part is going to be holographic, so it's going to be iridescent and shimmery, and it's yellow. So some some of these colors, like even though there's color to it, it doesn't mean it's going to be as opaque on the lips. Like it's not gonna be as intense as this. I think this looks really interesting. I think this could be very, very pretty. I don't know. I think it looks fun. I think it looks very enticing. I'm like a moth to color. I'm like, ooh. This is so nice. It looks. I think it looks really pretty. I think it'd be very interesting. And I think it's one of those colors that is going to look much nicer on the lips than in the tube, in my opinion. And last but not least, I want to touch on the fragrances. So we have here a new perfume, new, quote unquote, from Dior. And this is part of like their niche. This is La Collection Privée de Christian Dior. So... Uh, a lot of luxury designer houses will have um, like their regular perfumes and then they'll have like their special boutique perfumes. And this one here is part of that special collection, like that private collection here. This is New Look. Now, New Look is not new. It's been around since the inception, the creation of the brand. The term New Look is a reference to 1947 when Dior started his line and he started this, created this beautiful silhouette of like the post-war woman. It's very classic, like you've, you've seen this before, you've seen it recreated and this is not new. But we have a new nose. The nose is the person who creates the perfumes for the, per for the house and this is a Francis Kurjan. And so Francis Kurjan is very, very famous or infamous for his Baccarat perfume. Now I know that perfume is considered to be one of the most luxurious perfumes on the planet. Fun fact about me, I think that that perfume smells horrifying. I truly think it's one of the worst things I've ever smelt in my entire life. So you can imagine my apprehension when I learned that he was taking over Dior and their perfumes. And I've actually purchased some perfumes that he's created since then. He did the Riviera perfume last summer. I love it. I don't know what it is about Francis Kurjan at Christian Dior, but it's actually beautiful in my humble opinion. So he has recreated the new look perfume through his lens, through his nose. And I'm excited to try this out. I haven't tried it yet, but I will definitely give it a sniff at the store because so far, fingers crossed, I've really enjoyed their perfumes. And I, I'm, I'm just, I'm very pleasantly surprised. I was really, when I learned the news that he was taking over at Dior, I was like, well, 
It was nice knowing you. I guess that's the last time I'll buy perfume for the next like decade until he leaves, but actually I really like them. So I apologize to Mr. C Mr. Krijan. I did not give you the benefit of the doubt, but now I'm very happy and I'm really excited to try this. I think uh, in my memory, New Look was like before the reformulation, it was a very classic, clean, sophisticated, elegant, rich scent. So I'm excited to see how he has recreated it. The description here says, exemplified by Christian Dior's iconic bar suit of 1947, uh, the new look revolutionized fashion with its bold and elegant silhouette. Today, Francis Kurjan, Dior uh, Parfum creative director, has uh, reinvented this precious legacy as a daring perfume for women and men, whoever, uh, born of a bold, creative approach that pushes traditional boundaries of the amber fragrance. New Look is a universal eau de parfum that opens with a unique and shocking freshness of aldehydes, interesting, before revealing the sensuality of frankincense and amber. Hmm, I'm really, I'm really excited to, to give this a try. And I heard from a friend of a friend that Francis Kurjan may in fact be recreating Miss Dior. I am excited for this because Miss Dior Chérie Eau de Parfum was the first perfume that I bought for myself as a young woman in my early 20s. I think I was 20 or 21. And that perfume from like 20, 2008, 2009, 2010, that perfume was so gourmand. It, w it had like a buttered popcorn caramel coffee scent. It smelled amazing. It smelled amazing on me. I would get non-stop compliments and they sadly discontinued that years ago. So every time that they recreate that perfume, I'm like, maybe they'll do something closer to that. I, I don't know. I'm really excited. So hopefully, I'm surprised it didn't come out with the spring, but usually they've come out with some Mystiar Milfiori and they did a Mystiar in the summer last year slash fall, so later this year. We may or may not see a new version of Mystiar. Time will tell. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what collections, which items you're saying oui or non merci to. If you've made it this far into the video, please leave a white or black emoji because this is in honor of the new look. Is that gingham? That's pied de poule. I don't know, like is that gingham? I think that's pied de poule. I don't remember exactly, but black or white emojis in honor of this uh, packaging here. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to do so. We talk nonstop about luxury beauty. We focus a lot on luxury French brands. I do a lot of tutorials a lot of get ready with me and I'll give you lots of advice and creativity on how to use up what you already own without necessarily having to buy everything that's new. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.